What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Today we're going to go over how to unbrick your mods if you made the treacherous mistake of moving a lower end mod onto a higher quality item. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, mod values all cap out at Chaos 8, which means once a mod is at a Chaos 8 point, you can put it on any relic you want in the game, a Chaos 9, a Chaos 10, and it's going to still be at that maximum value. Mods, however, don't earn their standing from the relic that you put them on. They earn their standing from where they begin, which means you have to level up a relic to Chaos 8 before moving a mod off of it to another item. However, it happens all the time people move mods by mistake now for this example here we're gonna take this campaign level crit chance servo and for some ungodly reason we're gonna pretend like we want it on this chaos 7 support boom servo now i'm doing it at these tiers just to make it so making this video doesn't cost a fortune however the same thing applies if you were using a chaos 9 relic or a chaos 10 relic and moving a lower tier mod over to it so first things first, let's move our mod around and make our mistake that many new players would make. So we've got a campaign level mod and we're putting it on a Chaos 7 piece. Now we see a campaign, this crit chance servo is 12.61% defense crit chance. Uh, let's move it over and now it is on a Chaos 7 piece, yet it is still 12.61% crit chance. Now, the reason being, once again, mods are going to earn their level from their origin, not their destination. So even though we moved this campaign level mod over to a Chaos 7 item, it is not Chaos 7 quality. Now, if you're in the middle of doing Ancient Power resets, um, of course, you know that all your gear gets reset down to campaign. Uh, by doing an Ancient Power reset, this is going to fix this relic, uh, meaning that It'll get moved down to campaign level, and when you bring it back up to Chaos 7, it will be at the proper amount. Uh, however, you don't have to do an AP reset to perform this function. Uh, this was added in a couple of updates ago, and you can come over to the blacksmith and go to Devolve. And you can take that item, uh, here it is right here, and we want to devolve it all the way down to campaign. Now, this will cost you a bunch of defender medals, however... Remember, you're unbricking your bricked relics, so it's Defender Metals well spent. We're going to take this all the way back down to Campaign, and now we are still at that 12.61%, but we now have a Campaign quality relic. So to get this one to a usable state, we want to now upgrade it uh, further up. We want to get this uh, back up to where it was at Chaos 7, and see what we can do with it then so we want to upgrade this bad boy and we're just going to take it right through the tiers so campaign uh we're now chaos one two and so on all the way up to chaos seven now when we get to chaos seven and we take a look at that mod now it's now 23.45 percent chance uh to crit so it is appropriately tiered as Chaos 7. Now, if we wanted to use this mod on another item, like on, say, a Chaos 10 Relic, uh, there's got to be one in here somewhere, right? We'll, we'll just say that. Say we wanted to put this mod on this Chaos 10 Relic, we would have to take it up one step further. So you would then want to take this up to Chaos 8. Now, at Chaos 8, it is where a mod's quality caps out, so we don't need to go any further. Uh, we look at it now at Chaos 8, 25% defense crit chance. It's at its final form. It's not going to get any better than that. And we can now move that crit chance servo over to a Chaos 9 or a Chaos 10 item. Now, you can't move it downward, so we couldn't go from Chaos 8 to Chaos 5. Uh, however, we can go from Chaos 8 to Chaos 9 or from Chaos 8 to Chaos 10 and get the full value of this particular mod. So hopefully that helps people out with how to unbrick their relics. 
Uh, I knew a few people have done some ancient power resets to fix their relics, and they felt like they were forced into doing the AP reset just for one particular relic, which, uh, you know, of course, that is no fun. And that is why the blacksmith in that devolve system is actually in the game. That way, if those things do happen, you don't have to worry about doing an AP reset just to fix that bricked item. But hopefully this helps you all out. Thanks a ton for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.